When we booked our camping trip to Henderson Beach State Park, we expected a lot of this. But what we got instead was a lot of this. We were warned, but we wanted a lot of this. Instead, we got a lot of this. Why? Because every 10 minutes, tourists get on a helicopter like this and they fly out over the state park and then they return. And all that, as the Grinch would say, makes a lot of noise, noise, noise. A grumpy old man might want to do this. And to be honest, all that noise made it really difficult to enjoy a peaceful camping stop here at Henderson Beach State Park. But that's what we try to do and we'll take you along with us. We're Van Trekking Lifestyle. Let's get started. Henderson Beach State Park. Awesome. Right across from Walmart. <laughs> we actually could ride our bikes over here, so we, could. we find that we have forgotten something. A scoop. <laughs> uh, Cherry Garcia. That's not the scoop. <laughs> We're checked in. All's good. Good process. Yep, easy process. Really nice folks in there. Yeah, it always beautiful. is, isn't it? It always is. It always is. Alright, here we go. deep site. Got neighbors on both sides of us. Hey, that's okay. Here it comes. Oh, he's got plenty of room for those branches. I thought he might hit them, but it's good and level. Let me turn this way a little bit. Need to leave enough room for the bikes. Get the bikes off. And that looks good. Always strange to pull into a place that's right in the middle of everything. And then you get here and you're just surrounded by trees and vegetation. So here we're going to set up and we'll run the camera uh, in a time lapse mode. We'll let you guys see how long it takes us to set up and what we really have to do, which is not a lot. Hello to you too, young man. You should be able to get lucky singing that well. You're being that pretty. Yeah, look at you. Man, you're pretty. A little bit of a sunset tonight here. Bringing Maggie down to the boardwalk. She can't go on the beach, but it didn't say she couldn't go on the boardwalk. Well, Lynn thinks it did say that, so she's acting like she doesn't know me. Right now. Beach. 
Yeah, I can't remember who it was that told us about that stupid helicopter going off every 15 minutes, but I jinxed it. I didn't think it was going to be able to be heard. You can hear it from everywhere. It's a loud thing. We need to chip in and buy the muffler. So I think this morning we're going to ride over and get some breakfast at one of these places that we found close by that we really like to get breakfast. So it's a little ways outside the park. It is a busy highway, so we'll see how that goes. We might have to turn around. Never fails. Owen waits on me, and then I always end up waiting on him because he has to do everything at the last minute. Well, I forget to do things. You can try waiting on me, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Could be worse. How? <laughs> Don't <really know>. <laughs> <laughs> I had to sit down. All right, now I'm going to be waiting on you. Right. Wait a minute. I still need to put my phone on here because we got to use it for the directions. Do you like these uh, new phone holders that we got? Not particularly. Do you? No, I do not, actually. Got to find something better there. Pain the butt to put on. Hard to get off. But guess, at least you can see your directions. Fall. That's a good thing, but. <coughs> All right, here we go. before I uh, took a picture. And the hers looks a lot prettier than mine, but is it good? Really good. Yeah. Where French. are we? First watch. <laughs> French toast with fresh fruit. In Destin, Florida. Well, as usual for first watch, it was really, really good. We've gone into Publix to get some cereal and other things, and now we're gonna go uh, to one more shopping center and then head back over and see how Maggie's doing. We're not going to go on the road though. I think we're going to go back around the back side of this shopping center and go on a uh, more, uh, a less uh, crowded road. What did we do? <laughs> <laughs> we came to Bell's and what did you get? We got a couple of uh, comforters for the bed. I'm kind of getting tired of what we have and they're kind of tearing up. So Take them to Goodwill and let somebody else suffer through so. the strings. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get these things home. It's been an adventurous afternoon over there, the beach, but we've been shopping all day. Well, I like know, it's kind it's of a cloudy, yucky day, day so the yeah, yeah. beach is not really our thing anyway, so that's okay. The beach is like huh? walking on the beach. Right. Yeah. Let's go. It's a really good campsite here at this campground. Let me get a little set up. Maggie loves being out here. Okay, back here. There's a huge tent or sitting area over here on this side. Place to hang wet clothes. Yeah. And you're right in the middle of everything here too. That's that's probably one of the best parts about it is ride your bike to lots of different places or drive out and get there pretty quickly. So we're going to go check out the only trail that it shows in this park and take Maggie on a little walk this morning. It's nice and cool and kind of overcast. So 
ride the bikes down there to get to the trail so yeah. she's not too tired. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the trail though, just to walk between the campground loops and back there we would go off to the water. Maggie loves that trail too. Yeah. And it's it's a really cool way to get around, but hopefully this one will be even better. I think it's the nature trail here at the park. I tell you, we have really used this little basket for Maggie. Um, and she really likes it too. So it's, it's been a good uh, purchase for us. We call it the Toto basket if you guys are new to the channel. Helicopter, helicopter. Helicopter, 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 helicopter. Turn left at the main entrance to get to the uh, nature trail. And do that. So we locked up the bikes. Here's the entrance to the nature trail. We don't know what to expect, but we hear it's a nice trail. So let's go, uh, let's go check it out. hike is over or our walk I think it's a more of a walk than a hike and one of the things that's out here as we return is this radar station I'm a free born man and all the condos over there yeah flopping in the wind. I know. <laughs> you love your Toto basket, don't you? Uh -huh. It's like hanging out the window of the van, except you get to hang your whole body out. Yeah. Okay, come on. Well, they're famous for the beach, so I think we should go to the beach. I think so. This is our last day that we're going to be on this Emerald Coast, so I think it deserves a beach day. What do you think? I think so too. One of the most beautiful walks to the actual boardwalk that you'll ever want to take. And the boardwalk's really, really long too. Yeah, it's huge, isn't it? It must be seven or eight miles long, I bet. No, it's pretty long though. I think it may be, it seriously may be half a mile long. It's really kind of amazing. Yeah, right. See, we could have ridden our bikes all the way to here. Not that far, though. To walk the bike, so I think it'll be as crowded down here as it was at the other. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, my goodness, look at this. Oh. I had to get my phone out because it's just so pretty walking out on the boardwalk and then seeing the ocean. <laughs> we have 
planned on enjoying the day. I think that's what we're going to do. Enjoy the day. Leaving the Emerald Coast this morning, and it's a little sad. It's a lot sad. Yeah, all this beautiful water that we're driving across, and it'll be the last time we see it for a while. We have to drive, uh, eventually drive all the way to Jacksonville to get work done on the van. So today we'll be positioning again. Almost five, well, a little over five hours of driving. We lost an hour due to daylight savings time. We're going to lose another hour because we're going to go back into Eastern Standard Time. It's kind of perfect storm of a long day of driving. <laughs> it's been fun.